Hey, good afternoon, folks. This is Francis with First Place. Give me a call on my cell phone at 352-745-2019. It's, again, Francis with First Place, 352-745-2019. I have a 2006 Dodge Durango SLT 8-passenger. A really nice-looking vehicle. Very, very clean. I want, to shoot, I, want to, I want to walk you around there. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, it's an 06, it's got 75,000 miles, it's an SLT package with fog lamps, it's got a really nice set of running boards, it's got 17 inch tires, the vehicle by the way has been fully inspected, it's got a really nice set of um, Goodyear tires all around, uh, in really, really nice condition, it has the side deflectors on the side, it has a roof rack at the top, this is a um, Dodge 1500 platform that has an 8,000 pound towing capacity. It comes with a 4.7 liter uh, V8 engine that, that's over 230 horsepower, plenty of pep, plenty of acceleration, but also a very versatile vehicle that's going to allow you to be able to uh, haul all your family around. But if you've got a big boat, for instance, and you want to tow something behind, you're able to do that as well. So really a good looking vehicle, guys, and uh, silver on the outside with gray cloth. It's got power windows, power door lock, cruise control. This is your keyless entry. It has a power seat as well. So let's go ahead and check out the inside and show you a little bit of some of the, some of the features and some of the belts and whistles. So you have your eight-way power seat right here, as you notice. It's got automatic express down feature for the driver with all your window switches. This is your mirror control. It has your fog lamp control. It has your cruise control and your set position on this side. It has a nice wood grain interior all around your stereo with a rear AC system which is really important you know for the back seat. It's got 75,145 miles on it. Really good looking vehicle, power outlet, nice sound system plug in for, for an mp3 right here it's got a nice big old glove box for the manual inside you get little storage places on the doors you get your cup holders storage place here coin holder it's got this big storage compartment like this where you can slide in your cd it has lumber support here for the driver and the passenger as well so this is really overall a good looking vehicle you get your uh, grab handles Get your rear AC vents also, get your uh, cup holders, and then you're also your AC controls for the back right here as well. So, good looking vehicle, guys, um, in good condition. This is a local trade from uh, from Chieflin, so. Let's take a look at the second row seating. You've got a little storage box, storage places right here. You flip the stand like this, your seat goes down, you have to, your seat in the front here has to be pushed a little bit more forward like that. And then that allows you right here to gain access. You, you pull this handle in the back right here, and that allows you to gain access to your third row. So I'm going to go back there just to show you that it actually has a fairly decent amount of leg room. I'm six foot tall, and I'm sitting right here behind the third row. So you see this is your second row, this is your, your first row of seats in the back. So pretty pretty versatile vehicle. You got storage places for your drinks up here on the side. You get your AC vents also at the top. So it's, it's got it's got quite a quite a bit of features. You can also if you want to use this as an armrest here in the center, you can also pull this this level out like this. So pretty pretty versatile SUV. You can leave this the seats flat like this. Let me show you your. Uh, Behind the third row, you, there's not a lot of space. There's about 13 cubic feet of space behind the third row seating. Um, so, not too bad. So you got a little bit of space back here. Uh, you got your power outlet also right here. So, um, and underneath here, you even have a little storage place also if you want to put things. So you got enough space to put a maybe a couple suitcases while you're traveling so overall really a nice vehicle it is a it is a truck platform so it's designed to to, to go you know different you know on some more rugged terrain if you have to but nice uh nerve bars also as well so anyway good looking truck guys 2006 dodge durango 75,000 miles it's 
So give me a holler. This is Francis with uh, First Place. I want to show you just a hood for a quick second. Let's see if I can figure out how to pop this hood here, guys. Sometimes, here we go. Just to show you underneath here. You've got your nice clean engine compartment, a 4.7 V8 engine, about 240 horsepower, so really a good looking vehicle, guys. So give me a call. This is Francis. This is first place, 352-745-2019. Um, 2006 Dodge Durango with 75,000 miles.